Welcome to No Front Brakes, where I'm usually riding mountain bike with a prosthetic arm. In this episode, though, I get something in the mail that I'm very excited for. All right, I got this mysterious box in the mail. Let's see what's inside. I'm waiting on this for a few weeks. All right. This thing is pretty. Let's take it out. So, here is my one-up rack. Huh. Alright, let's see. So, even though it's a terrible technician, I allow myself to read instructions that are in the box. I just don't allow myself to Google anything. Oh my God, this is gonna be super simple. Wow. Move rack, box. Unfold hitch parallel with the trays is the only thing we have to do. Position. Rack with hitch bar facing upwards. It says, rotate out, rotate out. Rotate out these four blue bars, right? Rotate trays. Oh my God. Super easy. cardboard in there. That could not have been easier. Blue bars back. Insert rack into receiver. Alright, let's go out to the car then. I just tighten up this bolt. It's been a few months since I installed the rack and I have to say that I really love it. The one up heavy duty double is just that. It has a two inch hitch that feels secure and doesn't wobble. To be fully transparent, one up is refunding a part of my purchase once this video goes up. So while it's not exactly an advertisement, it technically qualifies as a sponsored content. Before this, I had a Saris trunk rack on my last car, a hatchback. It worked alright. I would have to lift my bike really high, and if I had more than one, the bike frames would rub on each other. I also needed to use this adapter from Thule that acts as a fake top tube so that I could hang my bike. The trunk rack also burnt out the rear windshield wiper motors on both my last car and my wife's, as the arms don't extend past the range of the wiper blades. The Saurus rack has pretty heavy duty rubber feet, but that's not enough to keep the weight of the rack from pushing dents into the top of my bumper over time. I was always obsessively tapping my brakes when driving at night just to make sure I could see my expensive bike hanging by a bunch of plastic pieces with threaded plastic screws. The only part of the rack that was metal was where the straps hooked to my car panels, which of course meant that they would eventually rust and stain my old car. The arms of the 1UP rack are pretty easy to open. If the lever gets caught in any of the ridges while opening, I just let go of it and lift again. Small price to pay for a super durable rack. I always lightly close one side, close the other side hard, and then come back and click the first one an extra few. I feel like that keeps my bike centered on the back of my car. 
Speaking of that, I'm not completely OCD. One of the only considerations to make about a hitch rack is if your car has a backup camera with warning sensors and or blind spot detection. Unless I want to take the rack off when I'm not using it, spoiler alert, I don't. Every time I back up, my car is beeping at me. Overall, I'm super happy with this rack. You know that I geek out over color coordination, so waiting the extra week for the black anodized version was so worth it. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you like this format and if you'd like to see more reviews from me in the future. Make sure to smash that thumbs up and as always, stay shreddy.